My, what a quiet, rustic village. It's only missing one thing. Capitalism. That's right, today I will be bringing these poor unfortunate souls the gift of CoinMax Superstore Incorporated's brand new location. Conveniently located between these two villages, this currently very sparsely used space shall now become a part of our new corporate location. Pushback from the locals has been minimal. There has been some protest, but industry must continue. Though I assure you to all investors that it is nothing our security team can't handle. They appear to be up in arms a bit about preserving culture and history and whatnot, but it's nothing we can't handle. And now that this installation has been removed, we can begin breaking ground on our new Superstore location. Alright, fantastic. We have leveled the ground, we have taken care of that eyesore, and we are ready to begin construction. As you can see with these wonderful charts, sales are expected to be astronomical, and I do believe that we will do wonderful things here. Tomorrow. And now, without further ado, I shall place the first block. And thus begins construction of CoinMax Superstore. Yay. Truly, a thing of beauty. It's just a facade for now, but more is coming. Like, for example, doors. So we decided to go with a more standard glass door approach to be able to keep it within brand standards. Fantastic. But now that the facade is finished, we could put in a walkway here and then get started on the building proper. Progress is moving quickly, despite opposition. You hear me? We're gonna do it anyways. So we have some movement in the right direction. We have our parking lot installed. We have a frame on the building. Ignore this. As I said, we have a frame on the building, but we also had the roof equipment installed. We have our air conditioners, our solar power, our generator and battery set up over there. We are ready to begin on the interior. Neat. Probably gonna have to call an exterminator or exorcist. Something. So progress is coming along at a steady pace. We have walls now. Premium stuff. But we also have a floor. Now with 99% less monsters. Great. Which means we're about ready to start putting in the shop interior and the different floors because without it... This is all they're going to be doing. Also, I have these little bay windows for displays. We have our armor stand showing off the latest wares and goods. It would be very chic and very nice. 
I'm procrastinating. Let's go. We have had some more fantastic progress. We have now installed nine shopping modules. These are going to be where you actually make the purchases. There's going to be displays. There's going to be more displays, a delivery system that we have yet to install. But we do have the shopping modules. One of them was installed off center. But uh, yeah, it just is what it is. Anyways, we have a book here that has 15 items inside the book. Currently, this is just a test book to be able to test out the machinery. We'll assign the different items to the different values later. We have a barrel here that you put your emeralds into for the purchase to be able to be delivered to you in a shulker box again later. Let me take you down to the employees only section. Please be very careful. As you can see by the sign over here, dangerous machinery below. Safety first. This will house all of our machinery for the delivery system as well as any other machinery that we need for collection. Gonna have to call the exterminator again. Regardless, this is the backbone of our shopping modules. As you can see, it's a little complex, so let me give you a bit of a breakdown. All right, I'm gonna break character for a second because I tried to describe it in character multiple times and it, it just, it got weird. So we have, up here is where the shop selector is and it goes down this big old chain of comparators to this red coder here. It's just a vertical red coder that goes up to 15. Attached to this is, where are you? There you are, an item sorter that is attached to the barrel. Now come through here to our verification module. Who fancy? This verifies that you put in the right amount of capitalism to be able to get an output. All your emeralds will go in here whenever it's done. We'll get a central repository. It'll be great. That will send a redstone signal down this way to trigger some pistons, which push blocks into the red coder. Currently, this one is set to something. One! It is set to one, which will trigger this dropper here, send the selected item in a ticket form, up a... Why did I make this so complicated? Up a dropper elevator. This is the one that's off center. This is a bad example. Dropper elevator. There we go. It'll go up the dropper elevator, out a dropper in the top, into a water stream, which will go to the delivery system with some item sorters. It's going to be great. Back to being a capitalist. So yes, the suits up in accounting tell me that this is 9 times 15, which they say is over 100 items to be able to deliver quality goods to our customers. Fantastic. So, I've been busy. So I had a lot of real life things pop up and they kind of prevented me from being able to record a lot of what it was I was doing for about two weeks, but I didn't stop. I kept building. And you might be thinking to yourself, Ori, why didn't you have any time lapses or anything during these times? Well, I fully intended on it, but I was recording for about 30 minutes at a time for about two weeks, and it just it didn't work. So uh, I did stuff. We're going to do this in some good old fashioned old school Minecraft house tour. I'm going to pop on down stairs. Like I said, we're going to hop on downstairs and I'm going to show you that I've been, I've been busy. And Capitalist Story will be back soon. But right now, Redstone Tour. So anyways, oh, that's loud. So yeah, Redstone Tour. Previously, I showed you all this bits, the big fancy bits, goes in the dropper elevators, goes back into the water streams. Now the water streams go under the machine. Now, up these water streams. 
various towers. They're all arranged in this manner because I had to get them to fit. Water streams goes across here. The ticket form of the item will come into these item sorters. And the item sorters are attached to droppers. And the droppers go into the various other water streams that all coalesce over here. The item will come out of the dropper. Currently, they're not set up. It'll come out of the dropper in the form of a shulker box with the item set up. All the way down this way, up and over. And I'll show that in a second. Enderman. We also have this line of hoppers here. And this line of hoppers is for our item collection for the emeralds. I also have these item sorters here, so that way I can set it up so that way it does blocks of emeralds or regular emeralds. That way I could have more variety in the prices. Item sorters would catch the blocks of emerald, and the regular emeralds would continue through and go to a crafter to be able to make more blocks of emeralds. So yeah, and that's just the downstairs. I've done more. And now for the upstairs. Nailed it. I added a backsplash area here on the place where you make the purchases. It's the checkout. So that way, you know, it's very, very obvious. We also have here where the items get delivered. Your order is ready when the light is lit. We just... Ta-da! Because with all of the water streams and the sorters and all that, it takes like 30 seconds for something to go through the entirety of the machine. So, yeah, it is what it is. I also added the nice white walls all the way around because the uh, sandstone just, it wasn't doing it for me in here. I added a ceiling. I got my fluorescent lighting all the way through. I have this nice little accent up in the top. I really like that one. I have an employees only section back here which I'm thinking about doing something with, but I don't know yet. I have an elevator here. Also have stairs, but elevator, use at your own risk, takes you up to the second floor, which currently has nothing in it. Except a friend. But yes, also stairs. I made them look like an escalator, but I toyed for a little bit with potentially making a working escalator. But then I came to the decision that I needed to get this video out at some point this year. So, back burner. Now I get to design the interior. All right, shelving has been installed, and I am starting to populate these with items and armor stands, but I'm going to do that off camera because it's very fiddly, and I don't think you want, like, 20 minutes of... So I'm going to handle that in my own time. I have a lot to do. We did have another interesting thing installed as we were installing in all of the shelves. If we go upstairs here, the downstairs is going to be dedicated to products. The upstairs is going to be dedicated to services. Once we take care of a few things. Regardless, over here is the installation for our first service. We're going to build an entire storefront for it and everything. It's going to be lovely. This is build a golem. You will purchase the pieces. And then, once you have them all in their proper place, activate. Build a golem. And be able to take home your own big friend.
Now build a golem is properly branded and fully built. I had to block it off for now until we are finished with this room as mobs kept getting in and killing my golems. Because they have no AI and don't fight back, so they were easy pickings. So now, we're going to build more services and just populate out the rest of this room. Give it some lighting too, so that way this isn't a problem anymore. And now the upstairs amenities are complete. I have also gained myself an assistant manager. Oh, assistant manager. Incredibly helpful. Just to give you a bit of the grand tour, we have build a golem, X zone, armor, weapon, and tool store. An employee's only door, stairs, a delightful sweets stand. An elevator, restroom, radio shack, redstone store, kabooks, enchanted bookstore, exotic pet store, snow cones, smithies, public smithing stations. D do you mind? A coffee shop. Baked while you wait, bread. XP shower. Dude, that is conveniently located next to public enchanting stations. And that concludes the services that are available on the second floor of CoinMax Superstore Incorporated's new location. And now we reach this bit. And I'll admit this is very ambitious. I just, I don't have it in me to populate all of these shelves with armor stands. So I downloaded a mod. Item placer is the name of the mod. It just places an item on a block face. And because of that, I had to do some redesign on the shelves and came up with something like this. I'll admit it's not the initial vision, but it's something and will ensure this doesn't take me a month. So, here goes. Fantastic. We have also set up some of our buying stations so that way they are now functional. We have our three emerald section. I'm going to set it to sapling variety pack. We'll pop in our three emeralds and... And just like that, we have our sapling 
Sample pack. I know, it's so exciting. And now we just have some finishing touches. We need to clear up the land, get a lot of terraforming going on, add our displays, and then we'll be good to go. No, you, you stay in there. And now, without further ado, I declare CoinMax Superstore open for business. In retrospect, probably should have built this on a server. Live and learn. Wonder what happened to those protesters. Also a final addendum to the video, I do recognize I could have made the shop modules significantly smaller, but uh, I was going for the aesthetics. But yeah, just imagine that the coin accepting thing is here, push button, ta-da, whole thing works fine. I just, I liked it big. Okay, bye.